No Budget RC here with my uh, quick review of the Arma Creighton version 2. So here we have the Arma Creighton version 2. Um, when I bought this truck, the plan was to buy a new one from uh, Tower Hobbies using the Tower coupons. However, they were out of stock. So in looking around on the internet, I did come across this one, which had very little use on it and had quite a few upgrades on it. If you're interested in what upgrades, all the upgrades I have, you can check out the Arma Cretan upgrade video that I did a while back. And uh, this is uh, over the last five years of being in RC, I've probably owned 30 plus vehicles. And I have to say, honestly, this one is uh, one of my favorites, probably my favorite basher that I've had. So let's grab a tape measure here and get a few specs on it real quick. So, the tires are about six inches tall. Arma advertises this as a monster truck. It's really more of a uh, truggy, or maybe you want to call it a monster truggy, because it is a uh, truggy type chassis, which is one of the things I like about it. Um, nice low center of gravity. It doesn't flip over all the time. Part of what helps with that is... How wide it is about 18 inches wide an overall length hook that there on the uh, wing up here to the front tire and we are almost 23 inches in length so uh, like the body on this is held up quite well um, I have not been easy on this truck it's landed upside down. It's got off some crazy big jumps. The body is actually held up pretty well. It does have some damage to it. As you can see back here, the uh, rear body posts have kind of tore a little bit. And up on the front, you can see where I've landed upside down and smashed the body into the shocks and uh, shock towers. Now part of what helps this body hold up so well, as you can see there, something rubs right there. It has a, I guess you'd call it like maybe an interior cage underneath the body. And uh, I think that helps a lot when you land upside down, you land on that cage and the body's not taking the full front and smashing down into the electronics. So, uh, this have... And this truck comes with an aluminum chassis. Um, has metal uh, drive shafts all around. Has a 2050 kV motor. And I believe it's a 150 amp ESC. This thing is both 4S and 6S capable. Um, the way that it's wired, you have two plugs that you can run. 2S in series or 3S in series. It also comes with this little jumper plug so you can run a single pack, which is what I do. I run a single 4S on here. Um, it actually goes pretty good. It has an uh, upgraded pinion. Stock came with a uh, 12 tooth pinion. And I have the 14 tooth in there. Now, um, some, a couple cons on this vehicle. Um, a couple things that you're going to want to look into fixing if you get one or upgrading if you get one the factory shocks or not the shocks but the springs themselves are very soft um, these are actually the techno orange springs when you get this vehicle even with the uh, shock collar cranked all the way down the springs are very soft and off of a jump it body slaps the chassis slaps really hard um, the other upgrade that I recommend is the aluminum uh, Chassis uh, braces there Comes with plastic ones and I have seen where people have gone off big jumps and actually had the plastic ones flex And another upgrade that I don't know if it's with all of them, but with mine when I first got it I uh, went to try it out in front of my house and as soon as you punch the throttle Transferred all the power to the front tires the front tires pizza cuttered and just you know front tires spinning so I brought it in and I pulled that center diff out and there was actually very little oil in the center diff from the factory. So uh, 
I actually had a hot racing uh, aluminum diff cup anyways so I went ahead and cleaned up the center diff and I put 100k diff fluid in there I really like it on the 100k diff you can still tell it has a center diff in it but it uh, actually wheel pull wheelies on 4s but it's not constantly pulling wheelies you can give it a good amount of throttle without pulling a wheelie so I really like the way that it's set up right now with the 100k center diff fluid but that's just a few things and like I said uh, the springs they aren't that much to upgrade um, most of us that are into RC probably already have some diff fluid laying around to put in there and uh, the other thing is that uh, the uh, um, servo mount the stock one you will actually see some flex where you're sitting there turning the wheel back and forth and it tends to get worse over time so an aluminum uh, servo mount is a good upgrade to look into also but all in all for the price you can pick these up brand new ready to run for about 500 bucks and honestly I don't think there's anything out there at that price point that can touch it um, the amazing truck thing has just been tough as hell like I said I've abused the hell out of it I've had no major breakages um, one thing that I have done is you can barely see it but the upper shock standoff there is bent a little bit from a big hard landing where I landed weird all on just that one front tire other than that um, I, I haven't even worried about replacing it yet. I do need to order a set, but it does not keep me from driving it. But other than that, I mean, this thing is tough as hell. The you know, only other damages that I've had have been just been cosmetic on the body. I highly recommend this vehicle if you're on the fence about getting an Arma Creighton. I say go for it. You can't go wrong. $500, it is one hell of a tough truck. And, uh... I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed if you do get one. Like I said, probably my favorite basher I've owned over the last five years. And this one will not be going anywhere anytime soon. So, thanks for watching. Please uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, share the video with your friends if they're th interested in getting an Arma Creighton. Thanks for watching.